The Morph Polygons tool will create a number of connected intermediate polygons between two selected polygons or curves that have the same number of points. Let's take a look at the Morph Polygons tool in action. I'm going to start by creating the just a, just a flat disk. This tool works good on flat objects, so I'm going to make a, a disk and let's make a, another disk that has the same number of points. It's important to know that in order to use the Morph Polygons tool, you have you can only morph between, you can only skin between two shapes that have the same number of points. If you don't have the same number of points, it won't let you do it. So I'm going to take and select every other point here on this inner disk. and just stretch them in and we'll make a little starburst okay and then I'm gonna take this and slide it back okay so the other thing that we need to know is that when we're going to morph from uh, if we're going to use the skinning, which is the Morph Polygons tool is a skinning tool, if we're going to use it, we need the polygons to be facing in the same direction. And we know that they're facing in the same direction if we look at the polygon normal here, uh, shooting off the face. Okay, so if we come over to Multiply, Extend, More, Morph Polygons, what we can do is we can choose the number of segments. That's the number of steps it takes to get from this shape to that shape or vice versa. So we'll use the default to five and click OK. okay. And as you can see, it creates four point polys that allow us to morph from this disk to that star or vice versa. Now, uh, the last thing we need to do is I'll deselect this and I'm going to flip with F. The shortcut key is F for flip. Um, to, to get this polygon facing out. So as you can see, we're, we're going from one shape to the other. Unlike the Create Skin tool, which let's go ahead and take a look at that because this will look very similar to the Create Skin tool, except uh, I, I prefer this over that because you get four point polys instead of a bunch of triangles. So I'm just gonna undo, and I've got um, both of my faces here. I'm gonna go over to Multiply, More, Create Skin, there are no options, it's one step, okay, and it looks like uh, I need to flip, and then I'm going to flip this, okay. So, this is connecting, but you can see it's creating triangles to connect, and I don't have any options for how many segments, how many steps I want between the two shapes. So, my preference is to use the Morph Polygons tool, set the number of segments, let's do 12 and click OK. So now there's 12 steps. It takes 12 segments to get from one shape to the other. And I'm going to flip this polygon. So although at the very end you have to flip this polygon, you do need, if you're going to want um, this operation to work, you do need both polygons facing in the same direction. Okay, so the, the thing to remember, has to have the same number of points. So usually what I do is I uh, build one shape and then uh, build the other shape from that shape and just manipulate the, the geometry. But as you saw, these were two different disks. We can even go in and we'll just keep this disk and it has 24 points. So I'm going to come over to create uh, pin tool and I'm just going to make sure I have, I'm going to make just a random shape and I'm going to make sure I have uh, 24 points. So one, two, three, Actually, I got all the way to 25. I, I, I counted over. So there's there's 24. Okay, now they're facing in different directions. I'm going to go ahead and use this so you can see what happens. It's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's not going to connect them properly. So I'm going to go over to Multiply, Extend, Morph Polygons Tool. And see how it's, this is crossing over? So what I need to do is flip. And now they're both facing in the same direction. And now all I need to do is flip this one. And we're going from two completely different shapes, but again, using the same number of points. I'm going to move over to layer two, create, and I'll just use the sketch tool, but if you wanted to create a curve, and I'm going to copy paste, move this over. Now I can manipulate this, move the points and stuff like that. I just need to make sure that it's got the same number of points. I'm going to select both curves, 
come over to multiply, extend, more, morph polygons, and let's just do four segments. Okay, now the nice thing is, is that, well, it's inside out right now, but that's okay. I don't lose my curve, so I'm going to cut and paste those to a new layer. Come back over here and flip, and I've got uh, nice four-point polys. Of course, I can hit tab to use the subdivisional surfaces, uh, the sub-patches, but uh, we get a nice, we've skinned between those two curves, and I don't lose the curve, so I can always reuse those. Okay, one last thing, if I um, go back to... Um, just two quick shapes. I'll do um, a box, copy, paste, and I'm going to ro slightly rotate this. Okay, and now I'm going to use the morph polygons. So multiply, extend, more morph polygons. If you want a slight twist, we'll just twist one of the sides and you can get a nice little rotate. Uh, rotation on your your skin and again we need to select this polygon here and flip it okay so that's one way that you can get a twist effect uh, with the with the skinning so this is just a quick look at using the multiply extend more morph polygons tool uh, which is very similar to the create skin tool but I think it creates much cleaner geometry so it might be the option uh, that you'd like to, to use on your your work.